Hi guys, good afternoon. We are doing our live uh, outside today. You guys might be getting a peek or two of the animals we're gonna talk about. My name is Sierra and I'm a trainer here at Pacific Animal Productions. Uh, we would like to know where you guys are watching from, whether you're new or old, long time. Uh, let us know your name and how old you are in the comments below. I'll be reading the comments as we go. So if you have any questions, uh, you want to know anything, let me know and we can able to chat as we go through our activity today. Uh, we're going to be talking about feathers, some feather fun. So our activity is up on the website. So if you have a chance, go ahead and go download that. If not, we uh, can get to that at the end of the video. Uh, we also want to tell you guys about some incredible things that are coming up. Uh, we have our paint with our owl. So it's kind of like paint with Paco if anyone's done that before. But now uh, we are mixing it up and we have some new friends that are going to come visit. So check out uh, more information on that on our website. We also have summer camp that is going to be happening soon for all of our kids out there. We would love to get to know you and for you to get to know some of our animals as well. Alrighty guys, if you are ready, I know I'm ready and our animals behind us are as well. Uh, today we want to talk about feathers. So I brought out a couple of our different friends. Uh, right here behind me is Tequila, our yellow naped Amazon parrot. And she's talking up a storm for you guys right now. Uh, they are great at making noises. And then over here on my left, we have RC, our scarlet macaw. And we're gonna talk about some of his gorgeous colors. And then way over here, sun tanning out in this beautiful warm heat right now, we have our friend Angel. She's enjoying a nice sun bath. Ooh, look at that great uh, view of those feathers that you can see. Awesome, and we have some friends joining us. We have uh, Cynthia, we wanna say hi to Ace and Aviana, and Abby from Ohio. Thanks for joining us, my friends. Now, one of the best things about uh, parrots and macaws, in my opinion, is their beautiful colors. Uh, let me know what your guys' favorite colors are. On RC here, we're seeing some gorgeous red and yellow, green, and then one of my favorite colors, blue. Those are all going to help him when he's out in the rainforest. Him and his family will be able to see each other um, much easier when you're up in the green foliage. You can see how well he stands out uh, from that green tree that's right behind him. So his feathers are great for communicating. I'll show you, he is enjoying a nice nut. Uh, I believe he's eating a walnut right now. Uh, macaws and parrots love eating seeds and nuts and some fruit. Uh, that's going to be the majority of their diet. So they're gonna use those adorable feet of theirs as well as that gorgeous beak uh, when they're foraging out in the rainforest. And I see that we have some new friends joining us, Malay and Stephanie. Hi, guys. And then my friend Tequila over here, we have different colors. So she's got completely different feathers than uh, my friend RC. We're going to see a lot of green and blue, a little bit of red there on her tail feathers. Then she gets her name based on the nape of her neck. You can see those yellow feathers right there on the back of her head. Uh, that's actually how she gets her name. She is a yellow naped Amazon parrot. And uh, those feathers are going to help her actually be able to blend in out in her habitat out in South America. She's going to be able to hide much better uh, with those green leaves you can see right behind her. And then a completely different feathers yet, we have Angel, our cockatoo. And Angel is mostly white with a little bit of yellow. She's a sulfur crested cockatoo. So she has those yellow feathers right on top of her head. And when she gets really excited, she likes to raise them up and it kind of becomes like a mohawk. And she'll use those to be able to communicate as well. She can say, hi, how's it going? That she's very excited uh, or that she's defending her territory and she might not want another bird there. 
Now I wanna be able to see if Tequila will let me show you guys her brand new feathers. So I wanna show you how feathers start. They're gonna come in just like little tiny little pins right there, you see that? That right there is a brand new fresh feather. And they're gonna come in and they have a lot of circulation. There's a lot of blood flowing to those feathers. And they are slowly gonna grow and they grow out of this little case. And once they get big enough, then they're gonna separate and fan out. Look at those beautiful feathers around her face. Now, different feathers on different parts of the body, they're going to have different jobs. So she has tiny, short little feathers on the back of her head, where on her wings, she has much longer feathers. Those are going to be her flight feathers. That's how she is able to fly. So those ones are gonna be much stronger. They're gonna have a big vein that runs down the center. Oh, there she goes, demonstrating for you guys. And then the tail feathers back there, if you can see them, uh, those are gonna be used for steering. So those will be a different shape still. Now, what is your guys' favorite colors? Let me know, comment below. On our macaw friend, on RC, he's got even different feathers right around his eyes. If you guys can see those, those feathers help with circulation and uh, being able to even identify them. So we have many macaws here at Pacific Animal Productions and those allow us to be able to tell them all apart because they all have a different pattern around that adorable eye of theirs. Uh, those feathers are kind of like a little fingerprint. And I see Christine is joining us. Hi guys, welcome. Now at different stages, birds are gonna have different uh, types of feathers. So when they are little tiny baby birds, those feathers are going to be able to keep them warm. It's going to be like good insulation. That's going to be important because they don't have to fly around when they're babies. They are going to be in the nest where mom or dad is going to come take care of them and bring them lots of food. Uh, so they're going to be really, really fuzzy. I bet you guys have probably seen uh, some baby penguins. Baby penguins are usually gray and just covered in fuzz. Uh, same thing with baby owls. Uh, that is going to to be uh, for them just to stay warm and nice and safe and then what happens is birds will molt so molting is when they change their feathers they may change the color they may change the shape little babies are gonna molt and then they're gonna get adult feathers just like their parents they're going to then be able to fly and to travel and be able to forage all for themselves, which is pretty important, being able to be independent. Now, one of my favorite types of birds is actually a peacock. And peacocks have different type of feathers if you're a boy versus a girl. That's common for a lot of different animals in the kingdom. Uh, but peacocks are probably the most prominent. You can see the great big huge blue tail feathers that the boys have. And they're gonna use those to show off and make sure that they look really pretty for all the lady peacocks. But if you've ever seen a female peacock, they're actually brown and they're kind of dull colored. They don't have to show off. They don't have to do the work. Uh, instead, it's gonna be all about the boys. And I see here that uh, Torrance says his favorite color is red. Oh, that's such a good color. And we got uh, lots of green little emojis for our parrot friends as well. Now, all those different feathers have different jobs. Uh, even flightless birds have feathers. So uh, our ostrich and like the penguin I mentioned earlier, uh, feathers don't have to be for birds who can fly. They are for all types of birds. So it's a characteristic of that whole family. You guys are, uh, they're able to share that feather and uh, that's what makes them birds essentially. So different feathers and different jobs all over the place. Now, we also want uh, to give a shout out uh, for my aunt, cousins uh, out in Missouri. We want to say hi to you guys. Uh, and then we want to also give a shout out to Stephanie here in Fallbrook. Uh, you guys joined us on a different episode and we're so excited that you guys came back. Uh, let us know um, in the comments below 
uh, what you guys might want to see next week. Uh, what animals are you guys missing? Uh, what would you like to see us talk about? Uh, we would love to get some ideas and your guys' opinions as well. Uh, also check out our website, uh, pacificanimalproductions.com. We have a lot of good stuff happening. Um, and we also have a pack membership. So it is, uh, our base level is completely free for kids to sign up. It is a quarterly package that you will get. Uh, and it comes with lots of fun activities, uh, especially something uh, for the birthday kid. Um, so check out that. We also have boxes as well that come with so much information and different activities and just a great way for kids to learn. Uh, of course, also check out our summer camp and our paint uh, with our owl with gizmo that is coming up. And I want to show you guys our activity that we have for today. Uh, so we have a word search that is going to be on our website. And you can see here we have uh, RC in the corner as well as Angel. Uh, so you can help them be able to find some pretty impressive, or uh, some pretty special feather words uh, as you guys do that activity. So, uh, well, that is the show from here. So from all of us here at Pacific Animal Productions, uh, we want you guys to keep learning alive. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you guys again soon.